special good morning to you today, Roberto. Good morning, Shannon. Uh, the song obviously was in Italian, and uh, I was talking about uh, a guy that is missing um, his wife. And uh, in this case, obviously, uh, my thoughts are for my wife, Valeria, that is in Houston, and I uh, will look forward to have uh, the private uh, conference tomorrow morning. Thank you again. The uh, crew members inside the Quest airlock preparing for the uh, second EVA extra ve vehicular activity. The uh, two crew members heading out the door are uh, being assisted by Greg Chamatoff, you see in the black shirt there, and Shuttle Commander Mark Kelly. And uh, as Mike Fink uh, opens the hatch, the outer uh, protective thermal cover, uh, which is uh, basically Velcroed uh, to pr provide a thermal barrier between the that small space and the hatch. The uh, spacewalk marks the 157th in support of space station assembly and maintenance. This is the uh, fifth spacewalk for Drew Foistel and the seventh for Mike Fink. The two uh, astronauts are uh, heading out to the uh, work site. They're heading out to the port side of the station's truss structure to uh, complete a task begun on EVA-1 two days ago, essentially to uh, reconnect a jumper and, a, and, a, and then uh, flow about uh, five pounds or so of ammonia, basically to recharge the ammonia system on the port uh, solar alpha rotary joint side. The ammonia flows through a uh, myriad of uh, intricate systems on the port side of the station and on the right side, the starboard side, to uh, cool all of the equipment and avionics uh, that uh, is operating on the International Space Station. And Houston and Taz for cover 17. Go ahead. Uh, because uh, of the uh, extra torque and everything, I've been doing a really good job counting turns. And at nine turns, cover 17, bolt number two, uh, did not pop up. So I gave it one more turn. And uh, on the 10th turn, I pulled it up, and it popped up and popped out. The good news is I caught it. I'm putting it in my trash bag. Good catch, Mike. Yeah, but wait to hear about the other <laughs> Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Okay, Mike, you got a report for him. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Uh, bolt 17, or excuse me, cover 17. Three bolts came undone. I have all three bolts with me. When they came undone, I did not see uh, the locking washer on the uh, back of them, or when they came undone, the locking washer that makes them captive uh, did not uh, float out with the rest of them. I looked uh, very carefully during the process. You'll see it in the WBS. The conversation that you're hearing is related to a, a washer that uh, is supposed to be captive on one of the uh, covers that uh, and, uh, Mike Fink has uh, released from the port solar alpha rotary joint. So the discussion is to uh, for him to try to gently capture that washer. Do you hear from Mike Fink's helmet camera as he works on uh, lubricating the top surface of the race ring to do the bottom surface? They'll have to use the special grease gun with a J-shaped nozzle to get under the race ring. It's currently under cover nine, one of four covers that they removed so they could lubricate underneath. Okay, stand by. The MOI will remain in the bag. You hear of Joy Drew Foistel and the uh, special purpose dexterous manipulator arm that he's getting ready to work on. Close up look at the work that Mission Specialist Drew Foistel is doing with Dexter's hand, adding some grease to the snares of the hand. It's three different pieces of wires that constrict into a very small circle to grab onto items that the hands are picking up. <laughs> 